How's it going, boys? So today, we're not playing the fun deck. And the fun deck, by the way, looks exactly what the picture foretold. But we're playing the not fun zero IQ deck. Because I did make a promise. And for some reason, you do like the red, the red stuff. So uh, I, I'm, I'm just gonna shut up now. So, four shocks, four electrostatic fields, four kindling fiends, four lightning strikes, four steam kin runaways, four flames of kiln, four bond crusher giants, four gooder snipers, four light up the stage, four skewer the critics, four dwarven mines, and 16 lands. And 20 lands to be specific. Nothing in the sideboard. But again, as always, if you want to make a functional sideboard for a red deck, Pretty much that only means that you include a risk factor and maybe a fl four sl flame sweeps if you want to be cheeky freaky, but no one exactly cares about that. So this is uh, a spell RDV type of red aggro deck. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to call it a red aggro deck, honestly, I have no clue. But it tries to pretend that it's smart. By, you know, being not exactly creature-based aggro. But creatures also do... Wait, what is this? Historic... What, what did they fuck... No, I can't play it. G good. Jesus Christ, magic with their random MacGuffin updates that serve no real purpose just to create illusion that wizards actually, like, updates the game. Spoiler tip, they actually don't. Like, there are a couple of cards whose effects have get cancelled. It's It's been a year, and they still hasn't fig the, uh, fixed the error thing for a couple of cards when they actually happen. It's insane. And this is insanely actually good. Okay. So, the main th thing about this red deck is the fact that... Oh, God, we're playing up against that stuff? Oh, that is not good. How does Dwarven Mines work again? Three or more, okay. In that case, I'm just gonna use a uh, one. I know, amazing, right? Okay, what the hell is this now? No clue. Okay, that's good. We can actually kill that. Because, well, you know, giants and whatnot. Okay. So, boys, so far, so good. We actually dealt with something and currently it seems okay-ish. Well, you don't exactly honestly want to play against a uh, heal deck with this deck. But on the other hand, do, do you actually even care? Probably not. Probably not. So here's the big dealio, boysio. We're gonna play gutter snipers. And if this guy doesn't have a solution for gutter snipers, he's officially uh, dead. That That's how red, red decks work pretty much. Oh, look at that. It's a prison realm. Well, it is a solution, technically, but this is why we have four gutter snipers in our deck. If one fails, the second one most likely will not fail. That's just how magic essentially works, kinda-ish. So yeah, we're just gonna, well, we're gonna see what happens and what what is, and it's gonna be amazing. So hopefully he actually does nothing for his turn. Absolutely amicable. Or whatever actual word like describe the situation better okay and now we can just skip the third and see what enemy kun does enemy kun probably will not do anything he is most likely honestly scared absolutely shitless about what's happening because you see wait can we oh no no we don't even need to do that oh boys Enemy Kun is not gonna be happy about life. But honestly, I can't even blame him. I also would not be happy about life. Like, versing a red deck is like the worst experience the world has ever offered humanity. It's like, look at this. I'm using my red spells as removal, which is, by the way, the epitome of insanity. And we're still gonna probably get away with it. And, you know, even if we run out of steam for some god unexplicable reason... Uh, we still have Flame of Kelm, which is, by the way, a completely 300% balanced card, as all red cards are balanced, because they're not made by extreme sociopaths or something like that. Admittedly, that is my guess, that they are 100% of the times made by some very twisted people. 
But you know, can't really prove that. Oh my god, you poor, poor creature feature. Please give me a land. Oh, uh, that's not a land. Well, no reason to not do this, honestly. Because, you know, damage. Yeah, what exactly is your prerogative, enemy con? What exactly is the saving grace now? Are you actually, like, gonna get something done with the Mentor of the Meek? You're gonna, even if you drop something, you're gonna be, you know, wasting life, wasting resources. I have 5 mana. This deck honestly wants to be on 5 mana. Okay, you drew a card. Congratulations. But does that actually get you anywhere? I have exactly 7 damage in my hand, and when Flame of Kiln happens, I have exactly, well, more damage in my hand. Ooh, that's a lot of Flame of Kilns. So, we're just gonna do this on, let's see, actually on this. And now there's 3 billion damage being dealt to him on a default basis, and we're gonna be using a Flame of Kiln. Kiln, Kiln, whatever. And it's gonna be amazing. Or immaculate at the bare minimum. So, as you can see, enemy Kun is playing a heal deck. He didn't get the 50 health in the first two turns. Odd, I know. And he essentially is now paying the ultimate price for that. Uh, AKA, he's dead. I pretty much need to pull any spell out of the deck, and he just, you know, flips over and dies. Ooh, look at that. That's so threatening. Oh, enemy Kun, that's absolutely cute. Man. Imagine if I was as cute as enemy Kun right there. Man. Cute as a goddamn button. Sadly, a dead button. Oh, look at that. Even a steam can. But now we draw two cards. And now we can just, you know, flex a little bit. Do this. Uh, kill the... Ah, oh, let's just kill this. Why not, right? Oh, boys. It brings me absolutely no pleasure in playing this deck. Why? Well, I am, to a certain degree, psychotic and whatnot, but I am not necessarily psychotic enough to enjoy a red deck. That's your own problems, boys, not gonna lie. And there it is, an absolutely immicable easy victory. Well, okay, do we actually go into ranked and see what happens? Because, you know, it's, it's, it's gonna be probably still pretty easy. Traditional standard, and then there's historic standard. Where's the deck? Zero fun IQ, zero deck coming right up. We're gonna see what happens. Chances are, if we actually play against anyone who's act uh, remotely even good with dealing with us, we will be just able to uh, slot in that chemist, not chemist, synthesizer with my, my something, something card and win anyway. Oh, boys, we even got to go first. And we have a Steamkin opening. Jesus Christ. Oh, look at this hand. This is, this is exactly... Commune with dinos? Oh, Jesus Christ, enemy. Like, Jesus Christ. I understand that you're in a bad situation, but... Oh, God. That's gonna be a slow deck above everything else. Oh, and we, when we run out of steam, which is gonna be pretty much impossible, by the way, we're gonna be able to dub the Flame of Kelm yet again. Okay. So that's a Raptor. No one cares. Now we do just do this. Get this thing a little bit umpity pumpity. Uh, get this. Get that. Probably a land. Yes, exactly. As uh, one may predict, a land. Then we just play this again, and, uh, voila. You see, now we can play this for pretty much what would be, uh, called free actions. So, uh, I just spent at least three turns of value in the single turn, turn while my enemy is currently thinking, I don't want to be in this game anymore. Oh, boys, ain't it just grandiose to play a red deck? We even got a dwarf for our troubles. Honestly, I don't exactly care too much, but we even got a dwarf for our troubles. Look at this, boys. Look at this. It's the most disgusting, degenerate, filth shit that I have ever seen in my life. And I'm not saying that just because it's a red deck. Oh, I actually even misplayed, but no one, no, legitimately, no one cares. Oh, boys. Yes, yes. 
Yes, game. I want I, I, I want him to suffer. Please resolve these things. Oh, the best part is this is not even me being lucky or anything. This is this, this is just literally a red deck in action. A red deck in action. How how do you play this? I don't know, but the dwarves are honestly completely useless, but hey, we, we, we can just add it. Okay, anime couldn't just decided that surrendering is the best course of, uh, uh, course of options. Uh, so let's see, do we actually maybe want to get flame sweeps for- No, we don't! I don't even honestly know why I put flame sweep in. Must have been just, you know, a lapse of judgment, like most all of my actions. But that has never stopped me of, you know, just shambling randomly onward and seeing what can we actually achieve with stupidity. Okay. Excelente. The only, again, I, prob I probably should get rid of the Dwarven Mines because that's a really bad card. <laughs> I kind of understand why other red decks don't put Dwarven Mine in because it's absolute shit it seems like. But especially with the land algorithm. Uh... Because it will, if you have like four special lands and nothing else is special, it will always try to give you in the in the first three turns that special land. Because well, what's magic? What what's fun about magic if you can't use your special cards? Honestly, dropping a mountain was probably even a oh, by far better play. Oh oh, it's the same guy because we're playing a best of three. Man, <laughs> uh, that just shows how much attention I am honestly paying to this game but that is absolutely fine you know why because we're gonna draw a land oh that's bad he's gonna probably find a way to make these things fight and then i'm not gonna be ah shit oh wait 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 it's absolutely fine my boys it's absolutely f wait do we want to kill it or do we want to do this Oof! that's such a that's such a goddamn question of the ages well I don't exactly know what what's the best course of action, but it's definitely something around uh, this. Like, using all your light up the stages instantaneously, because extended reasons. Uh, then doing this, paying a little bit of gumph and umph. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. And then we just do this. Honestly, this thing is not exactly going to achieve greatness, but... Well, there's not exactly a but here. Okay, so now we can, well, achieve a lot, most likely. I can't really get rid of his dinosaurs, which is, like, the by far... Wait a minute. Wait, uh, is there anything you can even draw that actually does something? Because I'm pretty sure you can't. Also, I'm gonna be using two flames, uh, flames of Keln in a single turn, which means every single thing that I draw on the third step of Flame of Keln is gonna just instantaneously wipe, wipe the guy like there is absolutely no tomorrow. But it's honestly also his his fault for playing a dinosaur deck and not drawing the absolute best cards on the first turns. Like, honestly, I, I, I personally don't even have the balls to play a dinosaur deck like that. You know? Okay. So the real question now is very simple. Am I completely retarded or not? That is such a good question. Honest to God, boys. I... I... This is a red deck, so I'm not gonna slam the table because, well... Why would I, right? Okay, now he actually draws things. Well, the only thing that can obviously beat red deck is the fact that most people who play red decks are absolute morons. Speaking from experience, by the way, here. Oh, wait, this is a white, green, red type of uh, dinosaur deck. Oh, oh, wait, that's really bad. Oh, wait, are you fucking... Okay, that's like the only card that actually does anything, by the way. Just, just FYI. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, now consider... Oh. Now this dies. Uh, you see what I mean? That the arena always wants you to have five, ga uh, three games in best of three, because, uh, eh, essentially, eh, we can still win pretty easily. It's not like this guy's gonna do it. Well, shit. 
I need to get rid of this. That's like the huge momentum, uh, momento problem here. Okay, a lightning strike. That's actually exactly what I wanted. So, considering I'm an idiot, I'm just gonna pretend that we did everything wrong here. Oops. Okay, so we're gonna do it like this because reasons. Pip. Yeah, that's absolutely amazing. 10 out of 10. It still dies and that's bad, but you know, it's fine, technically. Okay, so I need to figure out the way to actually win this. Uh, most likely I can't, because we have already used a lot of things and MacGuffins, and that's not exactly the greatest thing ever. Okay, he's gonna draw cards and do things like- Ah, why did we not play the Flame of Goddamn Kiln properly? It was such an easy act. All I needed to do was play the Goddamn Flame of Kiln properly, and we would have gotten away with it. But no, inst instead we're not getting away with it. Well, we're kind of getting away with it because this is still enough to actually win the game off of just pure randomness. But yeah! Oh, if only I wasn't a moron. This could have been so easy, boys. Okay, we lose this one. We were too stupid for our own benefit. And we didn't win by turn 3, which is kind of awkward for a red deck. Okay, do I just get rid of this thing and add risk factors because, well, that's just what we can do? Oh, yes, boys, I think this is gonna be better. I don't exactly know why I added the dog, it just seems like a good thing if you're playing up against control or whatnot. And we're going first, and we have a Steamkin Bumpkin and an Electrostatic Field and two risk factors. Why do I have the feeling that nothing he could have drawn will prob uh, possibly prepare him for the inevitability that is a red deck? I'm actually fine with that. Still winning a game, lads. High five. Well, self high five. Good enough. I'm lonely. Deal with it. Okay. He didn't, he didn't mulligan. Also, that's a pretty goddamn fugly effect, not gonna lie. It's like, Wizards doesn't even try to milk their audience anymore. Pretty disgusting and disturbing. Okay. Oh, he mulliganed down to like zero. Hopefully he didn't mulligan to a needle tooth. That's gonna be problematic if he did. Oh, and the Fable Passage on turn 1. Considering this guy wants 4 mana to function, that is not the best land to get at the very start. But, here on the other hand, somehow, some way, some reason, he actually has... Oh, I don't need this... Oh, shit, that's bad. Well, it's kind of bad-ish, but not really. Okay, so art, uh, art start currently immaculate. So you see the point is, if you're playing against something, and they're playing against risk factor, you have probably already won. Uh, but I'm gonna do it like this here, boys, because, well, it's just simpler, honestly. It's gonna, it's gonna get this bad boy up a little bit, and chances are we can draw something more that does more, and uh, essentially... Oh, boys, boys, just, just, just boys, boys, a red deck, everyone. It's, it's absolutely... Oh, boys! So, I'm not gonna make the mistake of not actually attacking. And now I'm just gonna drop two Steamkin Bumpkins. Well, actually, it's probably one Steamkin Bumpkin, but who cares. Uh, and that's gonna probably signalize the fact that this game has 100% without question, 200% ended. So you have four mana, what are you gonna drop? A rip tooth, a rip jar, whatever the hell that card is called. And now, the best part is, we can still do this. And you know what's even the more best part? We can do this. Everything gets a plus. And if you have been in this situation, boys, then you understand the finite details what makes Steam Kin Runaway Bumpkin so goddamn overpowered. It's the simple yet sturdy fact that their goddamn runaway Steamkin does not need to be tapped to get the 3 mana. And when you have 3 of these fucking inbred creature features, you just automatically win because you have essentially infinite goddamn mana supplies. Ain't that amazing? Let me demonstrate. I'm just gonna keep on the thing. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep on the loop. It's not- oh, it actually- well, should have pressed full control, but you can't- Oh god, we need five more mi- 
I just looked at the recording and I need uh, at least five more minutes because I said that I'm not gonna do videos under 25 minutes. This is amazing. Whoa. I am so happy. I am so happy that I get to play. Uh, well, let, let's let, let, let's just play this and it hits 25 minutes. We surrender if that actually needs to happen. Oh boy. Also, by the way, again, I'm using the doggy woggy just because, well, I have seen other people use it like once and it was amazing. I'm not actually sure now playing it because, yes, I never test Red Dex. What do you think? I'm gonna torture myself even more for your amusement? I already torture myself enough for your amusement. So, you know, not exactly happy. But yeah, I never test Red Dex. Every other deck is tested at the bare minimum of like an average. I think the bare, bare minimum is like five games. But with, with Red Dex, it's like. You know, the last time we did the red deck, I made it on the spot. Uh, yeah, not gonna lie, I actually did make it on the spot. Because I have seen so many disgusting red decks, I can just make them on the spot. I know the ins and outs of a red deck degeneracy. So, you know, I'm something what you would call a pioneer in this respect. Or, you know, not, but that's honestly up to you. Okay, so now we can play a steam can bumpkin into a gutter sniper into no one cares It's a lot of things and he's he's probably already mentally defeated <gasps> a Oh Oh god, not a thought today. Oh, oh Heavens me. Oh, oh That is oh, this is probably fine. Okay, so the thing is now he needs to choose between killing this or killing that. Hopefully he doesn't have an AoE. The only thing that wins red decks in general is uh, AoE on curve, but having just one swamp kind of means he's, uh, uh, well, what's the scientific term for this? Completely ducked. YouTube. Better monetization, please. I said duck instead of fuck, so you, you gotta cut me some slack here. Well, at least once. Okay, do I actually want to just go fucking in? I think I just want to honestly go fucking in, boys. Oh, I meant go ducking. Damn, that's 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 so nice. Okay, so again, now he needs to choose between taking four damage from this or taking three damage for this. Oh, and he made the call, boys. What a champion. But does it matter? No, he t still took goddamn like 75 billion damage. So, yes, it doesn't matter. Cast down is amazing, uh, is amazing control spell. But you're up against the red deck, boy. It's, it's not exactly the situation where you doing the right thing matters a lot. It's, it matters, do I have enough things to kill you? Kind of, kind of like the big deal here. I'm actually sad that he killed the Steamkin Bumpkin, because we only have two mountains, and some... I don't know why exactly, uh, but we have not uh, gotten any any of what's it called. Uh, well, now we have three man, which means we can drop this. <clears throat> well, enemy con, what now? Well, actually, he probably has an AoE. I'm assuming since he has cast down, that usually means that they have the two, uh, the three, or the four damage, uh, sut. So, well, not the four damage, but the four mana ritual of sut. Or oh, this guy is just literally hitting his table. I hope he is. That means he watches my videos. Uh, boys. Also, if I for have forgotten to beg. Uh, then you know that I just forgot and that, you know, I'm not gonna stop begging for you to like my- Oh, that's so fancy, pa- Oh! Oh! Your feeble attempts to actually stave the, uh, the advance of my red deck. Completely useless. You know what I'm gonna do? Yes, that's right. I'm gonna get the fourth mana. Drop this thing again, because what are you gonna exactly do, huh? Do, do you have a solution? You don't. I'm gonna drop this, and then I'm gonna drop electrostatic field and a flame of goddamn kiln. And you're gonna be like, ah yes, I am dead the next turn, he draws three cards. Because someone thought that it's a balanced concept to, well, to make a goddamn saga that allows you to draw three cards. 
when, you know, a deck does usually not even have to have cards in it. No, seriously, the more I honestly think about this crap, the more I think that uh, the people who design red cards are absolutely insane sociopathic, you know, serial killers. Because th there's just no, oh, and now he needs to choose. And he chose the bow? Oh, Jesus! Wait, and you then discarded a Chandra? Oh, Jesus Christ! Enemy con! Enemy con! Wait, do I? No, wait, yes, I attack with this. This is actually smart because uh, there's a potential that he hits us and he gets uh, something like a lightning bolt. And we can't deal with him stealing a lightning bolt, because that increases his... Block with the Thief of Sanity. Shit. So, the chances that he doesn't ha get three lightning bolts, aka pretty much everything board wiping here, pretty goddamn slick, not gonna lie. Oh, did he actually not get anything? That's insane. Oh, Nicolas Bola, why a show travel? No one cares. Also, I'm just gonna win this and then I'm gonna. <laughs> pathetic! Absolutely pathetic! Do you think your little games matter against the red deck? No! I'm not even gonna have to use this thing to win. But you saw the change, so emotional dominance is 100%. Well, now there's even physical dominance there. Yeah! Now we say oops, and we do this. No, wait, we're a red deck. Boys, strap yourselves in. Because we need to wait for the timer to run out. Because we're pretending that we can't kill him. The classic red game. No, red deck game. Oh, let's just pretend that, you know, stuff's happening. Let's just say, oops. You know, it's the works, lads. It's the works. So how's everyone's day been? Uh, my day's been pretty shit. Because I'm playing a red deck. Didn't want to play Magic today all too much, honestly. But we have a really fun deck, you know, deck that's called Fun. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty fun. It has Div Mizzetin in it. One copy. Exactly like you boys wanted. Uh, let's just say thinking. Do I actually... Oh, here it is. Yep. Ah, uh, the classic moves of the red decks. Your goes. Your go. Oh, boys. Okay, let's just finish this off. Yeah. That's kisses. Okay, so congratulations. We won and we no longer need to deal with this shitty game. Oh god, we, we're, we're gonna be forced into waiting until he swaps out the deck. Now that, that, you know what, that actually deserves a small table hit. Table kun. Okay, now we need to wait until he figures out that his deck doesn't really have a counterplay against the red deck. Oh, the humanity. But this is this guy's lucky day because it's been 25 minutes and I no longer need to substitute myself for this fucking piece of shit torture that is called playing a completely mentally degenerate red deck. Okay, let's hope he actually presses the button. Oh, gee, thank you. You at least press the button real fast. Ah, uh, and you know, some people call me not a competitive player. Look at this. Look at how competitively fast I am to concede. Man, boys, not the slightest bit of hesitation. Mm-mm, lads. Mm-mm. Wait, did I actually lose two? Oh. Wait, did I lose two... Uh, points for that or what you call them I think I did but I won one game ah, it doesn't really matter well we technically could go man imagine if wizards did the actual smart choice and improved the cosmetic rewards for diamond and mythical 
I would actually have to get Diamond or Mythical every season because uh, my Blood Heritage does literally not allow me to not get uh, free uh, free stuff because shekels are avert things. Oh yes, boys. Anyway, I want. Well, I'm gonna paste the deck as always in in the description, but I honestly don't want to because. This is probably, uh, well, this deck took, like, roughly two minutes to put together. Uh, and it's roughly most likely better than any other red deck that's currently in the rotation. So, maybe I should have do everyone a favor and not even upload this video. Because that would be the, uh, correct uh, decision, you know, uh, on a higher level of existence. Not subjugating the world to a red deck. But, on the other hand, YouTube money. And I think we all know what... Actually, you know what? Let's even make it better. Let's remove the stupid dwarf shit. Oh, boys. Don't tell me I have never done anything for you. 10 out of 10. Anyway, this was Quizzer Sand 7. Uh, thank... I... No, no, this is bad. Anyway, this was Quizzer Sand 10. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, check out the channel, check out the Patreon, check out the Discord, check out the everything. And have a nice day, bye bye